guys, it's Miss Sapika. How are all my falcons doing today? I'm here with our story for Thursday, May 7th. Um, continuing with our theme for the week, Comfortable Emotions. And today we're going to read A Little Spot of Happiness. So here we go. A Little Spot of Happiness. Hi, I'm a happiness spot. I'm here to help you feel joy and spread happiness to others. Did you know one person has the power to grow hundreds of happiness spots, all with one kind act? Let me show you. It can start with you being kind and helping Jimmy up when he falls down. Because you are kind, Jimmy wants to be kind too, so he shares his toys with Lucy. Lucy wants to keep spreading kindness, so she says something nice to Tucker. Your new glasses look great. I love the color red. And the pattern of kindness continues. We knew some of that, didn't we, from learning about a spot of kindness. You can use several spots to help a happiness spot grow too. Love, confidence, and peace are some of the happiest spots I know. We know confidence. And tomorrow we're going to learn about love. Just wait. Think about all the people you love in your life and all the people who love you. Love can grow a happiness spot. Create art. Even if you feel you are not good at it, when you create something from the heart, it can be one of the greatest gifts to give. Creating can help you grow a happiness spot. I made this for you. I am brave. I am loving. I am kind. Connection to another book that we read. When you believe in yourself, it's easier to see the good in others. Confidence can grow a happiness spot. Learning how to manage your emotions. Oh, sorry. Learn how to manage your emotions. When you are calm, it can help you to calm people around you. Being peaceful can grow a happiness spot. Another way to spread happiness is with gratitude. Gratitude is being thankful and showing appreciation with kindness. Try writing three things you are thankful for every day. It's so easy to do, and it can start your day in a positive way. I am thankful for my teacher. Write a thank you note, too. It lets people know that you are grateful for them. Being thankful can grow a happiness spot. Thank you, Mrs. Curtis, for being an amazing teacher. We have lots of amazing teachers at LaSalle, too, don't we? Take time to enjoy all the things around you. Point out all of the beautiful things to others, too. Appreciation can grow a happiness spot. Smile! Making yourself smile tricks your brain into thinking happy thoughts. Go ahead and try it. Did you know when you smile, it makes other people want to smile too? Smiling can grow a happiness spot. Create something new and help others do the same. Imagination can grow a happiness spot. Take care of the planet. You can recycle or plant a tree. It doesn't look like much now, but every little action matters. Caring can grow a happiness spot. Find a great book. You might learn something new. Use your imagination and experience new places. Reading can grow a happiness spot. Is reading right now growing your happiness spot, Falcons?
Sometimes you just need a reminder to spread happiness. So wear a spot on your hand, and every time you spot me, think of a happy thought and spread happiness. And then here's another spot card, just like with our kindness one. So how did you grow a happiness spot? The end. All right, so that was a little spot of happiness. And our question today is, how did you grow your happiness spot this week? So we've been talking about comfortable emotions for a few days now. Um, what have you done so far this week to grow your happiness spot? Have a lovely Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow.